Speak to Wayne Duvenage about that right now. The outer CEO joining us uh, this morning. Hello to you, Wayne. Good to have you on the South African morning. So uh, there always seems to be a bit of a sting in the tail whenever we talk about fuel prices. They're either going up, which is terrible news, or when they're coming down, we now expect uh, increases in the fuel levy. Good morning. How worried should we be about this, considering how complicated the levies are? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Gareth. Yeah, it is a concern. And we've seen this uh, movie uh, played out before when there have been uh, significant drops in the fuel price. Government has pushed up levies uh, quite excessively. And in fact, in the past, uh, as much as 24 percent in one go in one year. And that was in 2015. Uh, so what we've got to be aware of is that we have a pre fuel price reduction coming up in September. We have the midterm budget uh, policy statements coming out in October. And this is an ideal and opportune time for the minister to make those adjustments. They have indicated in the past, uh, Minister Mbalula has indicated that they are going to be looking at the fuel levy to offset the ETOL matter. Uh, and we will denounce this. We will, uh, you know, our view is that the fuel levies have been pushed uh, to the extreme over the uh, m many years now, well above inflation. And this shouldn't be the case. Uh, uh, if, if, if they want to seize this opportunity, it would be the wrong thing. It's a short term gain for long term pain. I suppose the argument could be that uh, the idea behind the e-tolls was for us all to pay, willingly or unwillingly, to use uh, those parts of the highway in Johannesburg and Gauteng Way. And I suppose government will say they've got to get the money from somewhere because I think many people will remember you particularly. Uh, you were probably the most vocal person against e-tolls and government wants their money. Someone has to pick up the bill. No such thing as a free lunch. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, all infrastructure, everything that government does is paid for by you and I. And this infrastructure doesn't fall out of the sky. It has to be paid for. And that's why we pay taxes. These are, these are, this is social infrastructure that we use every day. And these uh, roads have been built in the past using uh, taxes. This is the economic heartland uh, of South Africa. The roads need to be widened. They need to be done so from the point of view that there's an economic benefit to that, uh, to the country, not only to uh, citizens. So we understand that it has to be paid for. Uh, what we are also saying is that at the time, uh, over 10 years ago, we suggested that if a 10 cent ring fenced fuel levy increase applied, they would have already paid for the roads by today and they could have taken that mm. 10 cents off. The number we hear them banding about now is between 25 and 30 cents onto the fuel levy. But in, in any case, Gareth, between then and now, they've done exactly what we did suggest. They increased the fuel levy, by the way, by far more more than 10 cents. It's gone up every year uh, above inflation, as I said, and it's, 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 it's uh, two rand 50 is, has been the increase over time. Uh, and they've been collecting these funds and, and uh, Treasury has been making allocations to Sanral to fund the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Project. In fact, they have allocated over 14 billion rand in the last six years uh, through Treasury grants to Sanral. So the money is there. They have it. They've been applying it in the right way. We don't see why there's a need now to go and look at increasing the fuel levy by another 25 to 30 cents. And Wayne, help us understand if the uh, finance minister in the midterm budget uh, does announce an increase specifically, I'll use your word, ring fenced, uh, to uh, basically pay off e-tolls, the, the scrapping of e-tolls. But that's, that's what we're paying for at the moment if it happens. We're paying for the scrapping of e-tolls, not the installation of them. Uh, what do we do about that as a country? What legal avenues could you as outer explore on this? Well, we'd have to explore, but but I don't think there's anything. You know, government has executive powers to make these decisions. Every year, the minister increases fuel levies, road accident funds, and so forth in his budget speech. For the first time this year, though, he didn't. And that was uh, cognizant of the fact that the fuel levies have been increased excessively over the past. So they made a wise decision not to. So they would be, in effect, reversing that decision uh, to, to uh, you know, introduce additional revenue to settle these bonds uh, that are coming up for maturity now. Uh, but these are bonds that should have been uh, provided for in the tax allocations uh, to Sanral uh, for many years now, and they haven't done that properly. And of course, we are far more broke today as a country than we have been uh, in the past, thanks to very bad decisions. But Gareth, I think um, it would be a short-term gain. Uh, you know, another 25 cents in the fuel levy is going to uh, see another 5.5 billion rand flowing to government's coffers. 
uh, that's not the cost of, 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 of taking the eToll system out. They don't even get uh, 50 million rand a month now from the scheme. It has completely failed. They need to scrap it, but they need to continue funding uh, Sanrol through the allocations that they currently make from the Fiscus. That's the only way they should be doing it and not by increasing these excessive taxes as they have done in the past. It just has a long-term negative ramification on doing business and the cost of living in South Africa. Yeah, we know what that cost of living at the moment as well looking like as well. Just as we're about to get a fuel price decrease, we uh, have the news that it probably is going to see an increase of the levy to pay for the scrapping of e-tolls. Uh, it almost took me back about a decade, Wayne, when uh, you and I started talking about e-tolls all those years ago. It's when you burst onto the public scene. Here we are a decade later still talking about e-tolls. Outer CEO yeah. uh, Wayne Dumanage yeah, yeah. joining us uh, this morning. It's been a long fight for Outer against e-tolls and wonder if this is going to start uh, the end of that. So, all right, 25